Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I just thought I'd create another video and I wanted to use the same stamps to show that you can change your design slightly and end up with another card. So this was the card that we did in the previous video, which I absolutely adore. I just love it. I love that pop of red. So that was the video we did before. And what I want to do is show that you can use these same products and create a different card with exactly the same products, same pens, same stamps. So we're going to be using the Flock Together stamp and we're going to be using the Crow like we've done before. I'm probably going to do another demo eventually and use the Woodpecker. I just love these stamps. So I'm using Flock Together. So we're going to use the Crow. I'm going to use the Wildflower, the Clock that we used before. I'm going to use the Tagged Alphabet. So I'm going to use those stamps. Oh, and there was the little miniatures as well, wasn't there? Which I've just got on one side, which I don't seem to be able to pick up. And then we're going to use the little miniatures stamp set as well. So we're going to use that one. So those are all the same stamp sets that we've used before, just to show that you can do something completely different. So let's just move those stamp sets out of the way. I've also got another workshop for you as well. Uh, I often promote these on my Facebook page, but I've started promoting them on YouTube as well. So this is another workshop. It's workshop 88. Um, and, I think, and it's called Merry Go Round. And it's workshop 88 and it's £15. And I've loved doing this. I can't tell you how different they look in the flesh. In the flesh, they just... It's, it's just looks fab. The colours look lovely, even if I say so myself. Well, you have to be happy with some of the work you do, don't you? Can't be your worst critic all the time. That's my excuse. But I absolutely love this journal page. So that's available in my workshops. If you want to do the workshop, you can do it on YouTube. I can load it up to YouTube for you or you can do it via Facebook. And as I always do, I'm just going to show my group. I've got too many followers now on my Tracy Evans page. I've got 5,000 followers and I'm not allowed anymore. So therefore, I've got a group that's called Tracy Evans Create, Share, Inspire. And in there, I've got, you go to albums and if you scroll down, you keep scrolling down because I created this album a while ago. This is obviously if you're using the app, it's a little bit different if you're using the browser. But if you're using the app, you'll see here this picture here and it says online workshops available to purchase. You just click on there and all the workshops are in there for you to see. So you just scroll down and there's 88 of them. And the one that I've just mentioned is here. So I always mention that on YouTube because I've been asked not to forget the, my YouTube followers because not everybody on YouTube uses Facebook and vice versa. So that's the next workshop. So let's just move that out of the way. Right. So we're going to use the same products that we've used in this card. And I love looking at the cards. I just, I love them. So we're going to use the same products we've used here. So exactly the same size card. So it's five and a half inches square, the piece that we're working on. Then we've gone a quarter of an inch bigger, which is five and three quarter inches square. And then a card blank of six inches square, exactly the same as the card we did before. And what we want to do is make it look a little bit different. Right, so let's. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of copy of paper and I'm just going to just fold this in half, like so. And then I'm going to create myself a heart. I don't always get this right the first time, as in size. It sometimes just doesn't. So do I want an elongated heart, heart without a H, heart. 
there you go so i've got my heart now what i have to hope is that it fits on my page which it does it fits on my page sometimes you're not that lucky and it doesn't automatically fit on the page and you don't you want it to be sort of organic you, do, you know you're not cutting you know the edges don't have to be precise it's just it's organic you don't have to be exact so what i'm going to do is is it better to draw around the aperture that's just you see i was going to say it's probably better to draw around the aperture but you can't actually see your card then if i use the actual cutout piece i can actually see what i've got and you're just going to use a pencil and you're just going to draw around your heart now if you want you can just draw Ooh, you can just draw your heart freehand but i need to be inclusive for everyone so you know if you don't want to draw a freehand heart i can show you how you don't have to draw a freehand heart there you go so i've sort of got a heart shape let me just show you that you can just see i've got that heart shape okay so what i'm going to do now is i think do i think that heart's too big or no so i'm going to now now if i go to my let me just show you if i go to my non-stick what do you call this low tack tape do you like how my word wouldn't come out if i go to my low tack tape if i put that on my hands so you can see it's quite wide so i don't want to use that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this narrow washi tape but what i want to do as i need to hold this do i want to hold, no i'm gonna have them over there yet yeah. do you like i'll keep talking to myself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this washi tape don't worry you're not going to waste your washi tape because you can use it afterwards so i'm just going to use the washi tape just to create some stripes because the washi tape is going to be peeled off afterwards so i'm just doing this by eye and i'm just creating stripes so this could be a valentine's card it could be an anniversary card or it could be just thinking of you whatever you want so i'm just using my washi tape and it's not a problem because i can just place this back on my roll but my low tack tape isn't fine enough now if you haven't got the washi tape then use strips of card cut yourself some thin strips of card and just stick them down with the low tack tape behind as long as you've just stuck them down i'm using the washi tape because it gives me the edge to edge stickiness that i want so just there we go we fit one more in there and they don't have to be don't start thinking They've all got to be equidistant. Please don't. You know, that isn't what creating's about. Let's just lift all those up, okay? So do I want it just I'm just going to put it at an angle because it's going to be easier for me to bray, just so that you can see. And what I'm going to do, what we used hickory smoke in all our previous project, as you can see in the background. So we'll use the same hickory smoke. If you haven't got hickory smoke, use any grey. And I'm going to use my brayer. Let's get another piece of card so we can brayer off any excess. I always have an extra piece of card just in case there's any extra ink, but I don't think it could be a problem. So what I'm going to do, move that out of the way in a minute, is I'm just going to bray the ink across my brayer. And can you see that I'm moving the brayer 
side to side. Okay, so I've got a good even layer. Uh, I've not sort of gone right to the edges, but I've got a reasonable layer on there. And what I'm going to do, let's move this out of the way, is, well, well, surprise, surprise, Tracy's got a hair, a dog hair, I might add. Oh, it's going to have to stay there. So what we're going to do is bray our ink just like so. Hopefully we'll be able to see the heart. If not, we can go over again. So I'm just going to take a little bit more ink. So I'm taking the ink again and I'm just braying my ink across there. And this time I'm going to start this side. And I'm sort of flicking my bray, sort of flicking. So I'm sort of doing a wheelie. So I'm flicking it and the bray is rolling. And you're just going to keep braying over because that adds a nice texture. Now, I don't want it to be too dark. So let me just make sure we've got rid of any excess ink that we can just apply on that card. Let's just leave that on there. The hardest bit is actually picking the card up. So we can now remove the washi tape. And I'll just stick that just on my in fact, what I'll do is I'll stick it on my scrap card and then I can create another card using the washi tape. But we'll do it so it's this way. So I can create another card with the washi tape. And the washi tape, tape comes off really nicely. Especially if you don't get in a mess with it. There you go. So we're just going to add, because I can easily peel this off if I don't want all of it, but I can just reuse it. I can just reuse that. Just making sure that's it. I grab hold of that. Because I'll, I'll probably make another card with the washi tape. Why not? So just layer that on here because I'll show you what you can do. If you've got a low tack tape that is obviously narrow, then great, you can use that. Unlike me. I didn't hold on to that one you see make it hard work for myself so really you could create two for one cards here And if you find that you've, because obviously you're pulling it on and off a piece of card and you think, oh, well, it's not going to stay stuck on there, just go over with some matte medium and that'll make sure it stays stuck. So just, there we go. And just add this. we go let's move that there and what I can do is I can add some more washi tape because what I can do just give you another idea let me just fold this over here just so you can see what we've got fold all that washi tape over 
and what we can do is we can you can carry that down and then obviously you can cut another heart out and put it on the top and create a different card with a smaller heart but just different ways that you can do that so what i've got now is i've got my nice striped background and i've just got my heart i can see just here just around i can just see that and i'm just drawing it back in with a pencil just so i can see around about where the lines are okay so we've got our heart and we've got our stripes so we've got some lovely stripes on there so what we're going to do then you've got your aperture from your card so we place that down make sure that's nice and let's make sure we've got it the right way you never know half the time let me just make sure which way of you do need to make sure you've got it the right way so just spend a little bit of time making sure that you've covered the area you're going to stamp in that's the main thing uh, that's it got it right so what we're going to do then is i'm going to put a piece of something on there now and it'll all move so i'm going to take this stamp set our stamp set that we used before so we're going to take that just let's move this out of the way just for a moment we're going to take that stamp set we're going to grab our acrylic block I think I need a bigger acrylic block and we've got the right one. Oh, everything but. Just got a bigger acrylic block. I'm going to add our stamp. Now let's make it look a little bit different so i'm going to take my ink let me make sure i've got the right ink yes i have and i'm going to take some low tack tape and i'm just going to let me just grab my scissors and i'm just going to mask off a bit of the flower so it is it is a little bit of a faff because I just want to mask off that flower. Yes, you can try and make sure that you don't ink that flower. Of course you can. But I'm going to mask that off. Just so that I don't have the flowers so it just makes it a little bit different when you go to stamp you could also use your brush pens and just add ink with your brush pens as well onto the clock but let's make sure I turn the end over because it drives me mad so just it doesn't matter if I get a little bit, but I just don't want the main flowers. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I know because I've masked that off now, I can just go over, I mean, I've missed a little bit there, but I can go over the clock. So I can go over that clock knowing that I'm not going to get the main flower images. So I'm just going over the clock. And I can go straight over the low tack tape and just make sure I get a really good inking of that clock okay so then let's just grab some kitchen roll so we can just place that in there and we don't get in a mess so I'm just going to 
remove that low tech tape, place that into the kitchen roll. Of course, one will remove easy and the other one won't. There we go. Put those in the kitchen roll and we don't get in a mess. And then what you can do, like we've done before in the previous project, just so that we don't get any straight edges, just dab that with your kitchen roll. And this is what I like about the VersaFine Claire. I don't have to race. I don't have to panic that I'm, um, you know, it's going to dry out on me. So just add that there. And let's add, we don't, do we want all the clock? Let's add part of it. There we go. So we're just stamping that clock. And it doesn't matter whether you get all the text or part of the text or only some of the text. You can add bits back in. And what you're doing is you're just giving that time just to soak into there. And because this, the aperture is cut out of copier paper means I'm not going to get a ridge. If you get a ridge, it's not going to work. But we've got that oxide underneath, so we just need to allow that to soak into there. And I'm rather delicate at the moment because my ribs from coughing so much are rather painful. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more time just to just to soak in there. And then you can lift your acrylic block like so. And what you can see is you've got part of your clock just inside the heart. OK, so you've got part of that clock inside there. So you remove this and you've got part of your clock in there, just inside your heart, which you can't see the heart at the moment. So what I'm going to do then is we're going to take our Distress Oxide Hickory Smoke. Let me take my water brush, a water brush that's got no water in it, but you're used to that by now. So I'm going to take the Hickory Smoke, press that onto my non-stick craft sheet. Oh, look at that. Look how Tracy's cleaned a brush. Always check your brushes beforehand. Well, I should have noticed anyway, because my whole nib is bright red. Because that's, you can tell that's the last card I did, because that's the Ecoline pens. So let's just make sure that that, even though I'm going to be adding some red but let's just make sure that that's clean there we go do you know red's so strong that color's still in there right so we're going to pick up that gray let's add a little bit more gray pick up that gray and for me, I'm faffing a little bit because there's still quite a bit of, of red on the nib of that brush. So that's the only reason I was faffing a little bit because it was still tinged pink. There we go. That's better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around my heart shape just with the hickory smoke. Okay. And just as it starts to get lighter, just blend that out. Just blend out the colour. You're not using too much water. You're just using a little touch of the water. So just blend that out. So I'll just take a little bit more ink and if it starts to get a little bit lighter, just blend the ink 
out. So pick up the neat pigment from the ink, go around your heart like so and keep going until the dark, the darkness of the pigment starts to fade and it's still going because it's quite dark. And then when it starts to fade, just come back and blend that out. Just come back and blend that out. Okay. So just take your time and use a little bit of a water at a time. Don't, don't use too much water. And make sure that you're using a card. I'm using the Pink Frog card so it reacts with water. Make sure that you're using a card that does give you that reaction. If you don't use the right card, it, it, it doesn't move as much and you want it to move. So go back, pick up that pigment again, go round the heart and as it starts to fade, just blend that out. Just blend out the heart. So you pick up the neat pigment, go down and then as it fades out you then blend that out and you can see I get a little bit quicker. So just blend that out and just take your time just to blend. And it's, it's a process of building up. Let me just show you. It's a process of building that up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and reiterate the definition around that heart. So just going around and reiterating that. Then I'm going to pick up the water and just blend out those edges, just so that we soften those edges. Okay, let's add a little bit more water, a little bit more ink. And again, go around and reiterate the darkness of the edge so that the edge appears a little bit darker because then the heart will start to stand out starts to pop as you add that that darkness to the edge it really begins to pop And just take your time, you're just adding a little bit of water to the edges of your card. Just blend that out. And you can dab if you know if you've if you've got a little bit too much of the grey, you can dab that. Just dab that a little bit too much. And you can just see that your heart, the heart starts to stand out. Just just blend the edges and you're blending the inside now just so that you haven't got that harsh edge so you're just taking the harsh edge off the inside as well just a little bit of of water just to move that harsh edge there we go so you've just got your heart 
just inside there with the stripes. So let's just give that a little bit of a wipe. And then what I'm going to do is use the, did I leave that on the top? I didn't put it back, did I? We want the little, little stamp, which we used in the previous project, which is our little miniatures. So we want to use that. So we're going to use the miniatures text as we did before. And we're going to use that Versafine Claire Morning Mist. So just take that Versafine Claire Morning Mist. And you're going to add some of the text inside the heart. So again, I'm just using my fingers just to use it as a, an acrylic block. And I'm just going to add little bits of the text just inside the heart. Just to give that a little bit of text, exactly like we did with the other one. But just so your card looks completely different. Right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to add a little, um, first of all, we're going to do the crow. I can't speak. First of all, we're going to do the crow. So let's just bring this in. I can bring this in after. Just place that there and we'll just grab the crow. There's one stamp on here I don't think I've got that I used in the last one, which is what I'm looking for, because I shall need that. And some of you did beautiful interpretations of the card. Some of you used the butterfly instead of the crow. So you used a butterfly to add. But I want to use that stamp, you see. So this was the stamp that we used in the previous one, which is worded petals. I was thinking, where am I going to put my red? Where's it gone? So I'm going to now take the crow. So let's take that crow. But your card is going to look completely different to your previous card, which is what I like. Just grab a piece of card. Oh. You know, me and Ian were laughing just as I made that uh, noise because we, we walked in and both of us bent down to undo our shoes and we both went, oh. And, you know, I always said... When my parents, as they aged, you know, they always made that noise as you get in a car, oh, as you get out of car, oh, you know, and I thought, I'll never make that noise. And do you know what? I make that noise. When I tie my shoelaces, when I stand up, when I get out the car, I go, oh, you know, like it's such an effort. So I'm showing my age now. Just reminded me of that when I did that. Besides the fact that every time I move my arm, it hurts anyway. So that's why I make that noise. So I'm just going to add the crow, which I absolutely adore. And we want to make it, our card look different than the previous card. So let's just allow that to just soak in there. There we go. Beautiful image. Very strong. So we're going to take our gel pen. Just reiterate those white dots in the eye. I may use the circles on this one that I didn't use on the previous one, but we'll see. So let's just cut the crow out. As 
So what I love about it, when you start creating, you can create one card and then other ideas come into your head when you've created one card. And that's why I don't like to move away from a stamp set too soon. You know, if I've started using it, I like to use it a few times. I mean, I've used the crow quite a few times now, but I like to come back to them and just show them in different ways. So I'm just going in and out with the card just to sort of give texture exactly that I did before, just to add to the crow, just so it's got a little bit of texture. And I'm going to do the same. And that's why he's got scraggy sort of hairs. So you can go up and down as much as you want, just to, just to give a little bit of texture to the crow. There we go, let's just add. So because you've gone in and out, you can just build that up. And then we just want to make sure that we manipulate that just so that it's got some life. So we're just going to manipulate that just so that that's got some life. And let's just give that a little bit of a, a curl. If you've got all your professional tools, like your ball tool and everything, you use your ball tools. But that is nicely domed now. He's nicely domed. Whoops. Because he will eventually sort of go there. So you can just see how it builds up. Okay. So let's then take... We will use that after, I think. Let's take that flower and use my flower that we used in the other one. But we didn't use the flowers on the clock this time. We, we made it look a little bit different to show you how you can change it up. So just add the flower. Now we need some of that Bristol smooth paper. Let me see. Yes. I like using the Bristol smooth because the Ecoline pens really move on that Bristol Smooth. It's a very, very smooth card. And I just love how the Ecoline pens move on this Bristol Smooth card. Just wipe that. The only thing you need to remember is because it's a very smooth card, much smoother than the uh, pink frog card obviously it's not as porous so your versafan clay just rests on the top did i use gray ink or black then we'll soon know so your ink just rests on the top so because it just rests on the top it's best if you if you block that i have got some paper so just give that a blot, just because it, it sort of rests on there. So you can blot it or just give it a dry with your heat tool. A little bit of ink does come off there. So we'll just cut our flower out. And we'll leave a little bit of a, a white border. Just around our flower. But it proves if you just do a few different techniques and simple processes, it can make it look completely different. So let's just... around you can see I'm moving the card rather than my actual scissors I love the Pergamano scissors for me they just I can't use big scissors we're all different 
especially if I'm cutting out something detailed or smaller. I need a smaller pair of scissors. Just keep your hands away from your work. And you can make your flower stem as short or as long as you wish. Okay. So then we can get our Ecoline pens out, which I haven't done. I mean, you could keep your card monochromatic if you wished. But I do like that pop of colour. Of course, the reds are always the last ones that I go to, which you can just bet on. So we've got Carmine and Scarlet. There we go. So just put them on your card again, just to remind you which is the, so this one which is the lighter and which is the darker colour. And it's funny, looking at the lids, you'd think the scarlet would be darker, but it's actually the carmine, a slightly pinkier red. Right. Let's just colour our flower. So we're going to add some of that ink. Just to... I love these ecoline pens because they just give me lovely vibrancy to my card so I'm not flicking on the smaller areas just adding a touch of colour to the smaller areas and it just just gives me that pop colour. So I'm then going to add the darker colour so just adding that darker colour darker colour just to each of the petals and then I'm going to come in with the lighter colour and just blend the edges together and the colour will pop when we just add that water okay so let's add our water and I just love that when you add the water, I'm going to start from the top and just blend, blend the edges out. You can leave a touch of the white if you want so that it's just paler at the top. I'm just going to leave it so it's just paler at the top on most of the petals. So it's slightly paler at the top and you can go in even darker. So if you want to add some more darkness to the flower, just to the inside areas, then pick up that dark colour and just add the darker colour just to the edges, which in my case is the carmine so you can just add a little bit of that darker colour just to give it a little bit more more depth and like a good girl you should clean your brushes or else like me you come to it the next time and then you've got that that mess 
Right, so I just want to add a little bit of shading to my clock. So it's going to sort of be like this. So it's sort of inside my heart. Now, if you wanted to keep it quite masculine, because you want to send it to somebody masculine, then you can just add a little bit of red to the clock. It's entirely up to you. I wanted to show you different ways. So you can add the flower and then you've got that sort of, um, spit it out, Tracy, that color. So that it coordinates with the same card that we did before. Now, I like to make sure you've got lots of variety. So this card would then, you'd be adding it with some splatters to the mat like we do before. So it's entirely up to you if you add the flower or not. Or you can add a little pop um, of the colour just to your clock and make the clock red if you want it for a masculine card. And just after I've just cleaned my brush, so you can just add that pop of red if you want to make it a masculine card. So it's entirely up to you what you want to create it for and who you're creating it for. Now, I'm going to create this card for Ian. So I wanted to show that you can change it up. Let's add some more of that scarlet if you want to make it for a masculine. So let's just add a little bit more of that scarlet and drag it out. Just drag that colour out like so, just so that it's dragged out to nothing. Now, if you wanted to add it so that it's blue, that's entirely up to you. So then I'm going to add a little bit of the carmine again, just to bring in that deeper colour, just to bring in that richness okay so it's all about options so if you want to make it female you can add your flower if you want to make it more masculine like I'm going to do on this occasion then I'm going to just keep it with these and I'm going to add some of the circles as well so I'm just going to add a little bit more of that depth. Let's just add a little bit more depth. So it's thinking about your options and I'm obviously giving you that option whether you want to make it male or female. It's entirely up to you. Okay. So then this will go here. So what I'm going to do for making mine more masculine, so I'm going to take the crow again. Let's grab another piece of card. And I'm going to use some of those circles, just so that it echoes the circles on the clock. Just add that there. And we will colour those. Let's just do another one because obviously the way we cut them could end up with less circles. So let's just 
add another set of circles. There we go. And then where's that alley? Let's grab our stamp again. Another piece of card. Because I want to add those words. So let's place, I've got stamps everywhere. Let's just place that there. I want that clock and time wordy. Takes me a good age to just tidy all the stamps up afterwards. So I'm going to use the word time. Place the word time so you can see. And there because that's also got a circle on it, on the T. And then the word clock. Just so we can use those. And then it, it could give an alternative Valentine's card. And again, I'm going to use the crow probably another time with a different stamp to show you how you can use it again. Just trying to show you how versatile stamps are if you've got good imagery and how many times you can use them. When you've got imagery that's not restrictive. And that's why I like using image, images that are, are super versatile and you can use over and over again in many different ways. It makes me happy. Let's cut that down a bit. I think we can cut that down a bit more. And this is why I end up with slithers of card everywhere. So we've got clock and time. And let's cut these circles out. So <laughs> let's just cut that one out on its own. And you do know that I am going to spend an absolute age messing with the composition because you know that's me by now. So just so we've got that, and then I just want the, you see, because I couldn't have the five and the three there, because that's why I stamped it again, because I knew that once I'd cut the crow out, the crow circle, that would affect that. So let's cut these out. There we go. So let's just bring this in. So I'm just going to add this here. So it's just deciding where your composition is going. So on that one, I might keep that white because it's, I don't know yet. We will, we will decide, but we're going to stick this down so I can start playing with compositions. So I'm going to take some black cotton and I am going to make sure it's not polyester unless I'll rip my hands off like I, I've done before. Sure, it's the normal cotton. So I'm just going to use some cotton thread. Just, just unravel it sort of loosely so it's nice and loose as you're doing it. There we go. And then spread it out sort of all messy. So it's spread out messy like so. There we go. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that. You see, I, let me just close that up at the minute because I want to add, let's just grab another water brush so we're not worrying about what colour's got what on. I just want to add a little bit of grey. So take the grey, take that grey, just pick this up, pick that grey up. Let's move the crow out the way and let's just add a little bit of shading just around the clock, just a little bit around the clock. Just shade that out and I'm, I'm not using much water because it doesn't affect the stripes very much then. So just Just blend that out just so that we've got a little bit of shading just around the clock. Just makes it a little bit more 3D. Oh, and I do faff, I have to say. I am a faffy. Right, let me just move that out of the way. So what we're going to do is replace that cotton just like that, all messy. And then we're just going to place a nice dollop of glue. Let's just bring my crow in before I decide. That's it. Let's add. Now you can use your ultra thick gel medium, whichever, whichever you want. So I've got a nice cluster there. Now, I'm just going to put my lid back on. You might think, well, what, what, why don't you just leave it open? Just while I faff and decide where everything's going. So the clock is going to go here. Time is going to go here. It's going to go there. So I'm now going to add some touches of red. So I'm going to add, let's just do this from the non-stick craft sheet because it's just a bit easier because I won't add too much. So we're just going to add a little bit. Just to. Just drag that out just to go back in with a little bit more depth. Then come in with our darker colour. I should have done the other one at the same time, but there you go. That's what happens when you're concentrating. So just add a little bit more. first. So just shading those circles just to add another pop of red. A little bit more depth and then add the darker colour. Just to give a little bit more depth. So we're going to put the clock just there, like so. And we will give that a little bit of, of lift. Just with a little bit of the pin flare, but you can use your ultra thick gel 
medium as well just gives that a little bit of lift I'm going to use that time one and I think it's lovely how you can get projects to look different each time I'm just going to add a little bit of red to this one trying to remember to use the right pen let's use that darker colour wow you didn't need that much ink just add that touch of darker colour just to add that here So you've used the stamps and you've made it look completely different. Okay, let's just... Obviously, if you'd added the flower, your composition would be slightly different and it would be more female, you know, more feminine with your flower because you took that down here and push it down and add your flower behind your crow and underneath there. So it, that would be more feminine for you. But I'm going for a more masculine one. So where's my little... If you kept me desk tidy, Tracy. So now I'm just going to use my Inktense pencil just to give a little bit more depth to the heart. Just a little bit. It's going to be a little bit darker just to give a little bit more shading just to make it stand out a little bit more and I am one of those people you don't have to faff as much as me if you don't wish but I'm just one of those people I just adore the faffing it's just me, just to make everything just stand out. I, it, it's just, it's what I love doing is the, is the faffing. I think I missed that bit. Yes, I did. Just to make things look as good as possible. So I'm just, I'm hardly touching with a bit of water just to, Drag out that slightly darker, slightly darker colour for you, just so that that's dragged out a little bit more. Obviously, you can put with love, you can put lots of different things. It's entirely up to you. So now we're going to um, add a few splatters. So we'll start with the white ones first. And let's give... Some little splatters to our card. Let's just clean our area. And then we just want to add some splatters of red. So you're just going to add some splatters of red with the Ecoline pen. You don't want to add too many, you just want it to be a, a suggestion of the, of the red. So you don't want it to be too many. But you see, it's looking completely different than that card and you've used the same stamps. So it's great because it means your stamps they work for you, they go a lot further. So, what you should do is obviously you should let your splatters and everything dry. 
which Tracy doesn't do. But you're used to that by now. So I'm just going to add my adhesive. Just add the adhesive to your black card and I always think it pops when you've got the black card. Now if you wanted to change it up again you could do the stripes in red and do everything else in grey. So again another card idea and also you've got your one where you've got your washi tape where you can add a heart on the top of this and do it the other way round as well. So you could add the crow onto this and do it the other way round. We can always have a go at that as well. So just press that down. Then you're going to add that to your six by six inch card blank. I always think the matting and layering always makes everything look a lot more professional for me personally. There we go, just add that. And I didn't use the tags because, you know, I didn't want to overcrowd it and I wanted it to look a little bit different. But if you wanted to... Where's it gone? Add different sentiments. You could put live your dream, live for today, be authentic, one of a kind. You could even put one of a kind just going over the top here. Just so that it just finishes it off. But I quite like, I like that. So I've got to show you what it looks like because it's just me. Let me just grab that. sentiment. Let's grab that one of a kind. I just, honestly, I've got acrylic blocks and everything everywhere. Let's stamp that one of a kind. Have we got a piece of spare card? Because, you know, you could be sending it to somebody who's one of a kind. Your artwork could be one of a kind. My husband's definitely one of a kind. So we just stamp that. Let's just place that there for now. just leave a bit extra on at the moment so if you wanted you could also add so that this because you've got one two oh, don't pull the thread one two three four five six yes yeah, so you'd have an odd number you see I do this and I think oh yes so you could see I like that don't move that Tracy so just dome this a little bit and then I'm going to take, I can't find the adhesive, there you go. I'm just going to add a little dot there, little dot there. Let me just push this up. right way Tracy now it's your card so you can do what you like with yours I love that one of a kind just there and then where's my grey there we go 
I'm just going to take the Distress Oxide, just your finishing touches now. Just pick up that water. I'm just going to add a little bit of shading just under just under the circles just so it's got a little bit of shading just underneath just just cast it just casts a shadow so which is quite nice so what I'm going to do then I just want a few more white splatters. Let's move these all out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. Just a few more white splatters for me. Just on that T as well. There we go. Just on the C. There we go. That's it. And then I'll bring both cards in. So this is our card, look at all that dimension, just love the dimension, but that looks completely different to that, and it just shows what you can do with a stamp set, just to make it look completely different. I absolutely adore them and that crow I'm going to do another demo with with a different stamp set next because I adore him just to show how one stamp set you know you can develop the idea as well with several stamp sets you can develop the idea of the focal image so I just adore that absolutely adore it I adore them both but I just love them. Absolutely love them. So I hope you've enjoyed that demonstration. I hope it's given you some more ideas with the flower, without the flower. You know, this one, this one won't get wasted. The flower will get used. So thank you all for your support. Thanks for watching and all your lovely comments as well. It really means a lot to me. So love to all. See you all soon. Bye for now.